Russia is making strides forward in creating a new generation of combat aviation, a fifth-generation Su-57 fighter jet, and the Okotnik heavy combat drone made the first combined flight led by the jets, said Army Standard. It lasted 30 minutes. The two aircraft were training missions to destroy targets. In particular, the drone increases the range of the Su-57's radar, and the aircraft fires missiles without entering the enemy's air defense zone. Experts say it's not a co-flight in a traditional master-slave scheme. The two aircraft are united by a single control, guidance and engagement system, and are operated within a single network contour. The development of group engagement theory began in Soviet times. The MiG-31 fighter jet was supposed to lead the drones. The collapse of the Soviets buried those plans. They were recently revived due to plans for a sixth-generation vehicle. Sixth-generation aircraft have been designed as manned and unmanned from the start. The latter must simultaneously carry the bulk of the combat payload, since flying computers with powerful artificial intelligence have fewer overload limitations compared to manned aircraft. Nothing prevents the drone from maneuvering at supersonic speeds. Manned and unmanned aircraft must be engaged in groups to increase combat effectiveness. A manned aircraft with one or two pilots should become a command post for three to five drones. The joint flight of the Su-57 and Okotnik is a step in that direction. Combat Okotnik is causing concern in the West because previously Russia mostly used reconnaissance drones. Russia is far behind the US and China when it comes to combat drones. It has been working actively to close the gap lately. Fifth-generation fighter jet elements are used in Okotnik. The vehicle's artificial intelligence can independently decide how to fight if communication with the operator is lost. UAVs can covertly penetrate enemy air defenses and counter electronic warfare. The Okotnik is reported to be 14 meters long. The wingspan is 19 meters and the takeoff weight is 25 tons. The speed is above 1400 cam, slash 8 at low altitude. Several foreign publications claim the Okotnik's range is 5000 cam, which makes this drone strategic. If deployed in Kaliningrad or Crimea, it would cover almost all of Europe. Russian President Vladimir Putin told his Turkish counterpart Recep Tayyip Erdogan at the NAKS airshow that the Okotnik can carry a payload of six tons and is smaller in cross-section than that of the Su-57. The president said the UAV could go up to 18 kilometers. A large number of trials with various air guns were required to develop prototypes and start mass production. The work must be completed in 2023 to 2024 at the earliest. Deliveries to troops could begin in 2025, said Army Standard.